So as we talk about the internet, a lot of times we'll interchange the, the words internet and World Wide Web, and we're going to clarify that right now. The World Wide Web is not the internet, and really the best way to explain the differences between the two is to talk about other internet applications, the web being one of them, but another one that you're very familiar with is email. So the web, in, World Wide Web and email both work over the internet in similar ways, but they used lots of different resources and protocols to do that. So protocol differences, the World Wide Web uses HTTP, and you've seen this pretty much in every URL. It's the very first part of the URL. It's the protocol that you use. But email uses lots of different protocols. It uses the SMTP, which is the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It uses POP, IMAP, and if you've ever configured a manual uh, email in something like Outlook, you've probably had to play with both of these. Um, another big difference between the two is the way things get named. So with, with the web, you can see there's, there's a certain naming convention. There's the HTTP, and then there's the host name, and then if there are additional documents, that goes at the end in, in the slashes. But with email, it's a user, the at symbol, host name. So you can see there are some similarities in the, that there's the same host name, but with email you have no way to specify additional documents because there are no additional documents. And same with HTTP, there's not necessarily going to be a way to specify what user you're, you're talking to directly. So those are some of the, some of the fundamental differences. Another Another big difference is the content and the way the content gets, gets loaded in. Both of these applications use some form of markup that is sent over the internet using those protocols and is rendered into things like web pages. But the web page starts off in just sort of this simple text that gets sent over HTTP. And this is HTML, which may or may not be familiar to you. And it has a specific look. It has these tags. It has attributes like this and content in certain areas. This is our, this is our text part. But an email, which looks very different from a web page, has very different markup. It has all of this, all of this received stuff going on, which is telling you which mail servers it's been to, and it also has lots of um, just lots of additional information: who sent it, where did it come from, who else is, who else can see this, and then eventually you get to the content, which still looks very, very different from the from the HTML because they're very different. So to, you have to keep in mind when we're talking about the internet and the web that they are different. The internet is more broad than the web. The web uses the internet and so does email. Both of them use the internet but are not the internet.